Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Marmoset. This is Kerbal Space Program. This is Thumper Pod 1. We are going to send it up as far as we possibly can. Our objective? To get as high up as we possibly can. And maybe a bit out to sea. So I think... Yeah, I think that should be the direction I need to go to get lean over. Engine. Decouple. Shed load of parachutes. There's a load of science in our little bay here. Our objective? To get that high. So we see, we have the coupler, we have the Kerbin, we are not flying, we are not that high, we are not in that fast. So, let's see how fast this goes. Also, I have rated this back a bit, so that we shouldn't blow up. I don't want to burn this off by going too fast. So the automatic ratio is apparently a lot slower at start than I thought it was going to be. But we are going up. Apparently, we are also going this way. All right. Oh, those parachutes. Let that go away. That's an aborted mission, there, ladies and gentlemen. That was an expensive explosion. Um. All right. Temperature scan while flying. We can get that. Log temperature and keep. And we get the pressure thing. So log pressure and keep. We apparently became unstable, so we were apparently unbalanced for some reason. Don't know why we drifted off in that direction. I will revisit that in a sec. EVA report while flying. No. No, 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 and no. Alright, we've got a lot of parachutes, so apparently our descent speed is 3.4. So I think possibly we can get rid of the side parachutes. I don't think we need to worry about those. Um, what we can do, actually, is we can cut and close and cut and we do have a safe descent speed something blew off what blew off uh, resume flight something blew off I want to know what blew off oh apparently I can get alright fine give me a crew report Keep. Open. It was the goo. Alright, so we blew the goo off. Alright. Log pressure data. Keep. Log temperature data. Keep. EDA. EDA report. No, it wasn't necessary in the slightest. Board. Rip cover. Alright, so that went badly. We earned 26 science. We did blow a large chunk off the spacecraft. Um, got, yeah, researching 15 zone lower. Used a solid rocket booster, yep, yeah, yes, we did. We didn't get any more charity. Alright, so let's find out what went wrong there. We started leaning over quite a bit. Um, the other thing I noticed that the. I should. Excuse me while I zoom in. Ah, there's a button that does that, that's better. Let's open this up, grab these, put symmetry back on, and we will stick them on the top. Put the snap on. And rotate them round. So they are just a bit better positioned. Alright, close the bay. Alright, well they did warn us about them. Let's, I was expecting them not to be quite so useful, so let's put them on 4-axis symmetry again, move them a bit further up, and that takeoff, while amusing, was a bit slower than I wanted. So let's bring it up to a threat ratio of 1.5. Actually no, let's leave it where it was. 1.2. I don't mind the slow takeoff. What bothers me is the fact that it'll go faster and 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 faster, 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 faster and then explode, which is not what we want to do. How much is this big bag of can? Oh, it's only that much. That's fine. All right. Take that off. That's how much the rocket costs. Good. Doesn't tell me how much money I got, but that's how much the rocket costs. Alright. So, Thunderpod 1. Hey! <laughs> Save. And. Jeff, that, that wasn't a good experience for you. Let's, uh, let's have Val have a try, shall we? Save and launch. Alright, let's hopefully this one won't go winging off in the direction. So to help with that, let's turn 
SAS on. Basically, is Val will now use the reaction wheels to try and get this thing going in a vaguely straight line. With that said, launch. I'm just going to nudge it ever so slightly. That way. So we will have a slight slant so that we will go and get to explore other things. No, no, tilting over again. No, we're aborting. Oh, no shoots. I'll try and get that to go away. There we go. Alright, well that was another big can of explosive bang. Hey, blew the winglets up again. Alright. Then we'll call this one a learning experience. So we don't need that parachute, nor do we need that parachute. Nice. All right, let's um, speed time up a bit till we get to the ground. And no, we will not be doing an EVA report. Potentially, when I had the three parachutes, I could, but it's upside down when I'm doing it. Slow down. We will come gently to a rest on the ground. Alright, well we might as well get that little bit of science then. Yeah, I'm sorry Val, this also has not gone very, very well. Alright, let's recover that vessel. Apparently, we don't have an awful lot of control with this rocket ship. Next. Yes. Yes. And Val got a solid rocket booster ribbon. So why, my delicious friend, are you so unstable? Let's try binning that. Uh, it did warn us that, they, that we use it at our own risk. Let's try this. Let's try some of these. Oh my god, grab the entire thing. Rotate it by once so we're pitching. Those look very silly. They look very small on this. I'm not convinced. <laughs> I am not convinced in the slightest that that is. that they have enough authority. Just not. Let's um, stick four of them back on. Alright, so we are literally just going to put it on SES and we are just going to go straight up. See if we can get our speed and the rest of it. Hopefully, we'll come down somewhere else. Um, this is the same rocket, so it's, gonna, it's the Thunderpod 1A again. Crew. Yep, Val, you're up. Alright, let's try this again. Launch! Alright, SES is on. Your objective, Val, is to go up. And nothing else. No other control input will be given. Our objective is simply... ...to nudge it ever so slightly off course to go up. Alright, we are flying, but we are not high enough. Not by a long shot. Alright, so that's... No, here we go again. Try and rotate to send that away. Hopefully that won't land on anything I need to repair. That's another four rockets and a winglet gone off into the distance. That's going to hit the runway. No. Alrighty then. We're upside down. Um, and not in a good position. So I'm going to speed time up. And I'm going to slow time down again. And I'm going to cut that parachute. I'm going to cut that parachute. I'm going to speed time up. Get us down on the ground. Back on the crawl away again. All right, time for a redesign. That clearly is not a rocket that is working. We're burning an insane amount of money every time we thrust ourselves into the atmosphere and then come thumping back down again. Um, we apparently do not have the control authority to keep that rocket under control. So we're going to switch 
to liquid engines. Because apparently we can't be trusted with anything more complicated. Doink. And there is no science to be done. Sorry Val, I've uh, two for two you on that one, so you, <laughs> you want more launches than Jeb. No new ribbons, nice. Alright. Let us scrap that and start again. So we will click the new button. Don't save. New craft. Come up here. I would like what we wanted before it was structural. No. Coupling. Command. Halo. There we go. One of those. Zoom in. And we will fill. Actually, if we're going to be doing that, let us instead open up. Don't save. Open up the Thumper 1A. Load the bin for that bit of the rocket. So that's all we want to keep. We will now have one, two, those, not the Reliant, we will have a basic swivel engine. We will then see how high we can get with this before we strap anything else to it. <laughs> yes, we will see how high we can get with this before we decide to strap anything else to it. Alright, that, proportionally, seems like an awful lot more stability. So this, this objective of this craft is to go up. Up, 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 and up. So let's um, get the monoprop out of that to save ourselves a bit of weight, and we will have a much higher thrust to weight ratio, apparently. Uh, but I don't have to throw this one. Throttleable engine! Make a lot of difference. Alright. Val, have a bit of a rest. You've had to emergency abort twice in a row. Let's rest your back a little bit, shall we? Alright, this is the. not the thumper pod. Is a swivel pod 1A. Save and launch. Please don't fall over on the land launch pad. Alright. SES is on. Staging is good. Our objective get this high and this fast. I'm happy with our thrust. So far, so controllable. Let's tilt ourselves over just a little bit. You can see the uh, engine twitching a little bit. So we have that much fuel left. Our speed is reasonable. We simply don't have the altitude. We are a whole lot less than what we're going to be. However, we are in a position where I can flatten this trajectory out a bit, reduce our rate of climb. So we're going over, so we will at least. Oh, that must be the old runway. We'll need a plane to go and help with that. We will at least go and have a look at something a bit more interesting. Alright, so this rocket got us that high. Oh, that's nice. So we get a crew report because we are over the water. I will open this bay. And I will get observe the mystery goo. Observe the mystery goo. Keep. I will observe temperature. And I will log pressure. Keep. Keep. Ooh, temperature scan. Log that. Log that. Observe that mystery goo and get another crew report. Oh, looks like we're not. Keep. Nice. Alright. Can't get a crew report this high because we've already got one in the thing. Apparently, we can't do anything about that. Alright. So we're over the water. We're going to splash down. I think we've got data. 
in all of our primary things. So I am going to close this. And I'm going to move that down the bottom. So down we come. And I'm going to reckon that there's a hard decent chance with the number of parachutes we've got. Deploy. I'm going to manually do this because I don't trust the stage. I don't want to decouple. Because I reckon, with the amount of parachutes we've got, we might be able to bring this all down safely. Because you saw, when we just had three parachutes and just the science bit, we were getting down to 3.3. .3. Now, I'm pretty sure that 10 is the magic number for a lot of these parts. So we'll find out. When we clear 1,000, when we drop under 1,000, we'll get a massive burst of G. Oh, there's the other runway I meant to get to. As this lot pop and fully deploy. And we will see how slow we go. Ow, that was a 415G. Alright, so apparently we have enough that that isn't necessary for this unit. So we can send this as a single section a lot higher. However, the whole point is to get it high enough to complete the contract. So, I will speed time up. Yeah, yeah, I know, Jeb. He's slightly happy. Yes, he's gone slightly further away. Oh, yeah, five point three. So we've definitely got enough parachutes to make sure we can land safely. I know that water is at zero. That's our altitude of data, not the altitude of the slot. The altitude above the ground is beneath me. So we'll let this one land. Lovely and slowly. That'll be a splashdown. <laughs> Alright. Let's flop that on its side. And turn the SAS off. Give it a roll so that the hatch is up right. Now, Jeb isn't a um, scientist, so he can't do any repair. So, let go. Keep him fall in the water. Jeb, there we go. Take data. Store experiments. Give me the A report. Open the service bay. Take the data from there. Take the data from there. Then climb up on board. Close the hatch. No, no, I don't want to have to. Ah, that was uncomfortable. Alright, let's see. Yes, I can climb back up here. Grab. Store all that data. Get back on board. And then we should be able to do a crew report from here. And now we should be able to. That was the other side, wasn't it? Open that and then log that temperature and keep it, and then log that pressure and keep it. Now we can't recycle the mystery goop because we're stuck, because we don't have a scientist. We took a pilot because we didn't want to spin out and burn. So we earned 45 science with that. Nice. We didn't earn any money, we didn't complete any contract. But Jeb got 100 science point rhythm and then got a discount report. Well done, Jeb. Let's make your rocket bigger. Go over there for a bit. Go over there for a bit. Now let's double up, shall we? More engines. I would like four fins. I would like to grab the entire thing. 
Irritator says pitch is my primary control unit. I am vaguely happy with that. Let's see how high we can go. We've got 23 um, things of that. Let's see how high we can go. This is Swivel Pod 1B. As you know, Swivel Pod 2, this isn't a small adjustment. We've doubled the amount of fuel we've got. Launch. Let's see how high and fast this one will go. Um, give me full thrust on the launch pad, please. And stability. Bang! Alright, let's tilt. We're heading out this way this time. Looks like we the wrong button. And I can't bother to correct it. And let's drop down. I have absolutely no desire. There's our fuel burning away. All right, I just don't think we're getting it high enough. I think we'll get further. With that in mind, I am going to. Which way? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to point the rocket out that way. Right, turn that off. Just push with me, Jeb. Push with me. ourselves. Don't think we're going to get high enough. Drop the temple. But turn the stability stuff back on. And we will see if we can't get ourselves out over here. Alright, well we've gone supersonic. straight up we might get somewhere with this. Right, so we were flying high over Kerbin. And I am gonna kill the power. Nope, that's full power. We are flying high. Now it's currently dangerous to pop these. But, uh, alright, so let's just go. Full burn, count the rest of the fuel. Perhaps not that fast. Don't want the fiery effects. <laughs> Burning shit off. Well, we've got probably a speed record. So we've just gone past a thousand. So we did get up to 31,000. So actually, if we were to go straight up, I reckon we might be able to do this. So that'll be our mission. All right. Fair enough. Now it's mostly a case of where are we going to land? We are currently projected to land over here. Wow, we're going to be traveling quite far. All right. Well, let's find out what happens in the next episode. Back in a bit.